and gone. Hmm. I'm not sure where else we would go to open that place up. I mean, we answered the riddles. We can't talk to that anymore. It's the bottomless pit. We can always go back to that throne area. I'm not really sure what else to do. Doesn't seem to be any other way of getting that open. I'd rather not have to consult a walkthrough to solve this, but... Hmm... Doesn't appear to be any way up there from here. Thy decency is refreshing. So many we meet are lacking. Well, that's very nice of you to say, Tiny here. Maybe the magical throne room will take us where we need to go. No, Magical Throne Room already did its job. What did the journal say? Hmm. So there's a hatred and built the tower, still remains. I must understand two of the paths that led to this place. Oh, yeah, I just did that. After that, the way will become clear. Seems to want something as well. Said there was new evil here, something not a part of the tower. That must be expelled. I don't fancy being this creature's lackey, but I may have no choice unless I just leave. Well, I wonder, what is not supposed to be part of this tower? Could it be that creature we slew down here? Grail or whatever the hell it was? Oh no, those were the, uh... The guardians that he had summoned. The undead. Or rather, they weren't undead at one time, but... Mercenaries he helped... He hired to help clean out this place. Pretty sure it wasn't them. Is that the way out? The way for everything to become clear? Something tells me it has something to do with that bottomless pit over there. I mean, because what dungeon would be complete without a bottomless pit? Now wait a minute, Durlag is still saying that we don't understand all the paths yet. What is this nonsense? I don't like the way this group is turning out. Better leadership might help. Well, we can't go down into the bottomless pit, it seems. Yes, O oh omnipresent authority figure. Durlag knows the penalty for speaking once more to the Guardian. You are not to be. <laughs> run, run, run. Ouch. Fireball. Not nice. Nature servant away. Not nice at all. 
apparently I'm not supposed to talk to him again. And they're really serious about that. As good as done. For the group. Something unnatural, something that is not part of this tower. Wouldn't happen to be any shiny gems or other objects we just somehow overlooked. Wait a minute. Oh, apparently you can click on this one, and that'll take you somewhere. Uh, okay, we're going to save real quick. And see what happens when you click on that. Oh, oh boy, it's quiz time again. Full plate. And fucking steel. I wouldn't dream of refusing. I'll do my best. As good as done. I've done okay, it. let's see what the statues have to say. We were the fear made flesh. We came to the home that Durlag built, and we hid in the people that he formed. With tentacles to guide, we poisoned the clan, and the nightmares of Durlag came true. Our master said they could taste his rage even in the air, but always where there was the fear behind. We were the fear made flesh, but it was already here. We followed Durlag. We were his people, his family. Durlag Trollkiller, son of Bullhair Thunderaxe, the clanless. Warmed this place with the spoils of a lifetime of adventure. It was majestic in those times, and we took what we needed from the fortune around us. We grew strong and proud, and Durlag felt he finally had a home. We were the future, his family, and if we were lost, then so was he. That was the fear that hid, that was beneath. We followed Durlag. We were his people. We entrenched this place against all that would come. We built retribution in the tripwires and vengeance in the fireballs. We worked the hatred into every nook and cranny just as he wished, but our actions were guided from elsewhere. The foundation was the fear that it could happen again, and this was to be prevented at all costs. This was the mortar that held him together. We entrenched this place against all that would come, friend and foe alike. You butt kicking for goodness! So the craftsmen were after the fact. We're lost, so was he. This was the fear that hid that was beneath. We followed Durleg, we were his people. Oh, yes. And the monster saying we were his fear made flesh, but it was already here. This way. Well, let's see what the old crazy old statues got to say about it. Here we go. My father roamed as I, and so much of the world in this time. Well respected he was, but he had no home. At his end, he died in some faraway land with no dwarven kin by his side. I would not allow such to happen to me. I would not follow his steps that far. I would not be Durlag the Clanless. This was my fear. Trace the path of this fear, and show me you have learned. This one came afterwards. sure we know enough to answer actually. We'll not choose yet. Retribution, work the hatred, is, but our actions are guided. The foundation was the fear that it could happen again. So in order the hell we entrench this place, it's all that would come. So yeah, the craftsmen were after, the, they were late in the game. Followed Durlag, it was people. Spoils of a lifetime, we were strong and proud, we were future. This was a fear that was hid, that was beneath. We followed Durlag, we were his people. So the people were, that's where the original fear was. And then later on, 
Always was the fear behind. We were the fear made flesh, but it was already here. Okay, so it started with the people. It came when the monsters arrived, and then it finally manifested in the craftsman. This way. Okay. So, starting with the people. Began with the people and the fear of losing... No, not that one. Begin... Invaders. Mm, I think it might be this one. Even though it's supposed to be the people, there really doesn't seem to be uh, something that organizes quite the way we want of people, invaders, and then craftsmen. I fear was already here before the invaders came. It looks like number six, it began with you, but it rested mainly in your fear of the invaders. It followed to your people, and then to the very walls of this place, which were entrenched by the craftsmen. If you have not listened, you will answer again. Oh no, lightning bolt. Luckily, it's a rather easily dodged lightning bolt. Number six, not the right answer. Alright. Some built it, but they were unsure of the quality they delivered. They were afraid of the invaders. In the end, they feared you. Hmm. Let's try what our originally supposed the answer was, even if it seemed off. Begin with the invaders and their threats against you. It grew in your people and the thought that they more might perish. It festered within you for a while before the craftsmen entrenched this place against it. Now listen to your answer again. And everyone is not looking so hot. Do we have any more healing? Anybody? No? Actually, I have an idea for how to deal with this without her losing any more hit points than she already has. First, uh... Yeah, let's just give her a couple of healing potions. And a potion of absorption. I know somebody has that. That'll really take the bite out of this lightning trap. Oh. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. And gulp. Okay. Let's try number five. It began with your people and their fear of losing their home. The craftsmen built it as best they could, but they were unsure of the quality they delivered. You were afraid of the invaders, but in the end, they feared you. Uh. Wait a minute. Oh wait, I was immune to the damage. Very good. And that's why we got that. So it's not three, it's not five, it's not six. It began with your clan and your fear of losing them. The craftsman fortified... Oh wait, didn't he say this? He, did, he was afraid he didn't want to be by himself. He would not be dirty like the clanless. I guess we could just try number one. I mean, that just seems rather trite, but... No, well, let's try number two. It began with your clan and your fear of losing them. The craftsman fortified this place with it and then manifested it in the invaders. Now it haunts you always. Answer again. 
Sure enough, that was wrong too. Two is wrong. Let's try number one. It began with you and your need for a home. You grew with your clan as you feared losing them. Manifest in the invaders that came, but you feared this coming already. It became your home where it keeps you safe. You know a little bit more of me, you may live. Of course it was the obvious answer. Man, I'm bad at this. Really bad. Comically bad. You will survive this place. You understand what built the hate, the fear. Now you must prevent it becoming worse. A creature below, powerful beyond all. You must remove or it shall make this place its own. Such a fortress, impenetrable if remade in his image. Ask why we care. Not the business of helping phantoms. There's evil to be fought, I will defeat it. It seems rather trite, but it isn't mince talking, and Carrot would probably condone it, considering how far the party's already come. There's always evil to be fought, within and without. Do as you will, the way is clear. Follow me. Pause the Ooh, we get to follow Durleg's ghost. Who doesn't walk very quickly. Yeah, we're probably going to want to rest before we go down to deal with uh, what I think lies in wait for us. Yep, sure enough, door's open. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I suppose it would be a good point to rest, actually. Yeah, that would probably be a brilliant idea, actually. Resting. And, of course... You know, we're never going to rest in peace. I mean, that just doesn't happen at all. I mean, how would it? How could it even? This way. Ready and able. If none of them. Alright. As well as I can. To the task at hand. I don't like the way this group is turning out. <laughs> Better leadership might help. <laughs> I love that random comment from Jahiri. It's like you're a putz. Nobody wants to listen to you. I think this staff of striking might come in handy real soon. Let's have her equip that. In preparation for the battle ahead. Make sure we got the really super duper arrows ready. An open wound in Mother Earth. I would plug it had I the power. That's the spirit to hear. Plug that open wound. Come on, Minsk. There you go. You're Fight back in action for now. Goodness. 